One of the most legendary compressors in audio history is the Fairchild 670. Originally designed to be used in the process for cutting lacquer masters for vinyl albums, the sound of the Fairchild has been heard on countless records from the 60s and 70s, and is still used in studios all over the world. The Fairchild has been rightly called the holy grail of compressors, and its sheer heft and complement of tubes is matched by its high price. But those who have used one will tell you it's worth every penny. Senior tech Andy Pavlowski has serviced a number of Fairchilds over the years. His expertise with tube equipment and attention to detail provide a level of servicing befitting this masterpiece of audio technology. A piece of gear manufactured over four decades ago is always a challenge to work on, and the Fairchild is more complicated than most. Let's take a look at some of the work that goes into restoring the king of compressors. The first step in servicing a Fairchild is to test it as is, in order to determine its current condition. This unit required replacement of the power cord and rectifier tube before further tests could be performed. Then signal was passed through and the unit tested for function, with all deficiencies noted. All tubes are then tested for condition and approximate longevity. This particular unit required a complete retubing. The cosmetic condition of the gear is just as important as the audio functions. This unit arrived with the front control panel in absolutely horrible condition. The usual cleaning of the original would not have yielded desired results. Thus, it was decided to strip, repaint, and re-letter the panel. This type of extensive work is decided on a case-by-case -case basis, as not all panels require such treatment. A temporary panel was fabricated and installed to facilitate the restoration, while also protecting the new panel from damage during the repair process. The new panel is installed as the last step in the restoration. The initial stage of restoration involves repair of the chassis. The Fairchild is a very heavy unit, and over the years, the chassis bears the brunt of the abuse from being racked and unracked. Like many of the units we receive, this Fairchild has panels that need to be bumped and painted. All damaged items are removed for repair and repainted if needed. Once all the components have been made straight and true, the next phase of restoration can begin. By far the most complicated part of the restoration is the repair of the electrical circuitry. Step one is to do a full recapping of the unit, replacing electrolytics and coupling caps. Then all the rotary switches need to be refurbished, as they are usually oxidized. The switch wipers and all contacts are cleaned with a burnishing tool, not just washed with spray cleaner. Multi-layer switches are disassembled to facilitate restoration of all sections. At this point in the procedure, any obvious or otherwise known faults are addressed. In the case of the Fairchild 670, one of the three filament transformers is known to be underrated for the application. This unit had the typical signs, oozing wax from the transformer and burned wiring. It was replaced with a unit that had the proper ratings. After the circuitry has been thoroughly inspected and updated where necessary, the next stage is to clean the unit inside and out. One can see how the back panel gets discolored from the heat of the tubes. All of this discoloration is cleaned up, as well as any markings written by previous technicians. The goal is to make the back panel look as original as possible. The insides of the unit receive the same treatment. All components are cleaned, Wires are replaced wherever necessary and re-secured with OEM style lacing. All of the front panel components receive the same cleaning and restoration treatment with the temporary panel in place. The result is an interior that sparkles and really shows off the beauty of the Fairchild circuitry. Now that the unit resembles the look of its past glory, it is time to make it perform just like it used to. Tubes are installed, operational function is verified, and faults are corrected. This unit ultimately had a defective side chain output transformer. Fortunately, Souter Audio Transformers Limited in the UK manufactures a direct replacement. The transformers on both channels are replaced to ensure dynamic match between both sides. 
Finally, the unit is calibrated completely and checked for overall performance with a computerized FFT evaluation program. The last step of the restoration process is to install the repainted and silkscreened front control panel. The result is a beautiful piece of work that really makes the Fairchild stand out in the wreck. The back of the unit looks as stunning as the front, and the new owner is likely to keep it visible for envious engineers and producers to check out for themselves. After a final quality control test and an overnight burn-in, the unit is ready for shipment. The Fairchild is a heavy unit that requires special care in packing and shipping. A miniature box is made that fits over the unit, which is then wrapped in plastic, placed in a box with numerous packing pieces, and then the expandable liquid foam is poured into the box, making a form-fitting envelope to protect the unit. As a precaution, all tubes are wrapped and shipped separately to protect them from any damage in shipment. From the initial evaluation to the final shipment, the Fairchild receives the premium servicing that Vintage King is renowned for. Our attention to detail is second to none, and our commitment to quality shows in every piece we service, from a simple equalizer or patch bay right up to the holy grail of stereo compressors, the Fairchild 670.